If you wanted to depict hell, it would be something like this. Oh, that's sick. hundreds of thousands of birds in here, eh? Check it out, dude. All right, so we're in a massive three-story enriched cage egg facility here in the UK. I've never seen anything like this before. It is huge. There are multiple stories of birds, hundreds of thousands of birds here. It's like a massive industrial prison for these birds and they would just be going insane in here. You can hear all of their voices just, it's, cr it's, it's crazy in here. It's absolute mayhem. It's, I'm absolutely speechless. We're gonna take you around this facility and show you where a large proportion of England are getting their eggs from. Let's go. Like, look how long this is. That's a couple of hundred meters down there. This is a huge facility. There's multiple sheds like this, and there's multiple stories to each shed. It's insane. Okay, so as you can see here, these cages are on a bit of a slant. So the eggs, there's actually, there's actually electric cable that runs here. I just got zapped by it. So the hens can't get out. The eggs roll down here, you see? And these are what they call enriched cages. I think battery cages here in England are illegal. But what they call enrichment is a little scratching pad in here. And they have these little perches. But one chicken, one hen, per A4 size sheet of paper. So that's how much space they have in here. If you look at their, their combs, they're bent over and they're pale. They're not healthy. Just standing in here for about 10 minutes, it feels like an insane asylum. There's so many different birds trying to communicate and they must just be going mad in here. You gotta think, if you think about it, these egg layers, they'll exist in this facility for 18 months before they get killed. 18 months in a facility like this, imprisoned, just going mad, I couldn't think of a worse torture facility than this one. This is, this is pure punishment to innocent beings. I've never seen anything like this, man, eh? See down here, there's more. There's more birds in more layers. It just keeps going. Just keeps going down and up, and all the way down there. Most of the public do not even know these places exist. From the outside, this place looks like a massive, something out of like a prisoner of war camp, a big industrial prison. It's insane. And there's about four of these huge triple story sheds on this property. It's crazy. How many of these exist that we don't know about? This is insane. Look at these birds here. No feathers. Bold, no feathers. This is insane, man. I can't believe this, eh? I've seen egg laying facilities on video. I haven't actually ever seen one this big, but when you're in here, the energy is just so chaotic. 
so much suffering. Like this is their life. This is their entire existence. This is where they have to suffer for 18 months. And you know where they go after this? They get carted off to a gas chamber. Most egg layers will be gassed in the UK, CO2. There's feces below them. Nothing but feces. All for these. This is why human beings are doing this to these hens, for these. What comes out of their bodies? An egg. Because humans decided to commodify an egg. And this is how they have to meet that demand. This is how. The only way we can meet the demand for everyone's egg consumption is like this. It is the biggest injustice. Sentient conscious beings suffering en masse. Hundreds of thousands of them. There's probably 100, 200,000 in this shed alone. Look at them, man. They don't deserve this, eh? They're innocent birds, innocent beings. This is UK egg farming uncovered. This is UK egg farming. Enriched cages. Wow, looks really enriched. Enriched with feces. Enriched with suffering birds. Look at them walking along the cages. These birds will never get to see grass. They'll never get to dust bathe. They'll never get to exhibit their natural behaviors. They're stuck in this massive insane asylum prison to suffer and produce eggs for human beings. Eggs. I feel so ashamed to be a human being. We are the most egregious, cruel species of animal on this earth. We dare call ourselves compassionate when we build facilities like this to systematically torture and abuse billions and billions of sentient beings. I feel sick. I feel sick and angry. If you wanted to depict hell, it would be something like this. This is hell. And it's paid for by the consumer. This hell is paid for by you the consumer of eggs. It's horrible. Check out these birds here that you can see their behinds. Bold. These birds are going like insane in here. If you see their bold patches, they got they're pecking each other in here, they're fighting, they're understandably they're cooped up with each other in these cages. They're gonna fight and peck. Can you imagine? being in a position like this no wonder they're fighting and pecking each other they've got no space they've got no freedom it's sickening what's crazy is even if they wanted to escape they can't even escape where the eggs pop out because there is an electric fence there and that zaps them it's so so evil man it is so evil eh these animals, they're very agitated and me they're mentally disturbed um, as you would be after being in this facility all your entire life. Listening, listen to the, ca the chaos and mayhem. These poor beings, they're just, they're not okay. You can see in their eyes, they're... Imagine them trying to sleep in here. It just wouldn't happen. It's horrible on every level, I just can't explain it. I, my words don't do it justice, how disgusting and it's just making me speechless, eh? I just don't know what to say. Here, here. This bird here has died in that cage, probably what it looks like weeks ago, but the smell is just so rotten. These birds in this cage have to live in this cage with one of their dead, rotten friends. I bet, I could almost guarantee you, the farmer here will not clear that body out. So they'll, they'll have to exist in this cage for the rest of their lives with a rotten bird, a rotten part of their little flock in here. And this is where people get their eggs from, it's disgusting. Okay, so I've just uh, discovered uh, a corpse skeleton of a, a bird here in the cage with these hens. And it's just, uh, 
it's horrible. It's, there's corpses all throughout these cages. Just look at this. Can smell the dead in here, eh? So just here, there's like multiple little chutes. They're like conveyor belts that bring the eggs from the cages down here. And there's just, they're on every level. It's just, this is just like a big industrial machine. That's what it is. We've taken sentient beings, exploited them with machines. And now that's just, this is the level it's got to now. Big, la big layers of conveyor belts, bringing the product to the consumer. And this is the abuse behind it. Okay, so I've just looked at the end here. There's a couple of bins here. We're gonna see if there's any dead birds in the bins. It's eggs, feathers. Oh, look at that. That's disgusting. Oh, that's sick. I don't know how people can eat those, eh? This place is dirty. There is dust and filth everywhere. It sickens me. I, I don't know how anyone can see a facility like this, even through a camera, and still want to eat eggs. It, it baffles me. Anyone who eats eggs should have to walk through facilities like this and see the suffering beings, smell the feces, look at all the dead decomposing bodies, smell the dead decomposing bodies, look in these bins, it's horrible, it's a, it's a disgusting hellhole. All right, this is multi-story. We're gonna head downstairs and see what it's like down there. See you guys, this is what I'm talking about. Look at this filth. It's disgusting. It's putrid. It's a putrid mess of broken eggs, feathers, feces. It's a disgusting place. Um, this is in the UK. They pride themselves on high animal welfare and this and that. All right, there's more bins more filth oh. Oh. oh look at that there's dead birds in there for sure it's sickening Just look down this corridor. There's a lot more dead birds in the cage down here. Here's one here, I don't know how long this bird's been here for. I'm gonna try to move him. If you look down here, there's another one. A bird stepping on them. See? Look at this. This bird's got no feathers. Stepping on a dead bird. This bird will be left in here to rot underneath them. And this is England. This is UK egg farming. It's sickening. Poor babies. Like there's nothing more saddening than holding a cold dead body of an animal it's just uh, an awful feeling and you can only imagine how this bird would have died suffering in mayhem no one to help them just no one to look after them probably pecked by the other chickens just a horrible sad existence and uh, I just don't know how we got to this point. They're just viewed at so far below us. They're viewed at like just nothing, you know? How can we let this happen under our noses? Human beings, how can we let this happen? And there's so many tragedies happen to human beings and war crimes and we're always so quick to never forget these war crimes and these horrible tragedies that happen to human beings, but there's another tragedy happening under your noses right now in big secret facilities like this one to innocent beings. And this is something we'll look back on in history and wonder, how do we let this happen? Okay, so what I want people to think about is not just when you're eating the egg in an omelette or boiling the egg. The eggs are added in 
to ingredients in your custards, in your packaged food, when you go out to restaurants. Eggs that could have been coming from facilities like this, most likely. I know everyone's thinking this, before anyone says it, free range eggs aren't much better than this. Okay, there'll be 10,000 in a barn. They're supposed to have access to the outdoors. A lot of the time they can't even reach the outdoors. There's dead, dying birds in free range facilities. They're horrible places, sometimes more horrible than this. So free range is not the answer, okay? The male chicks from the egg industry don't make it to these cages. They go straight down a conveyor belt, much like this one, into an industrial macerator, okay? So this is the egg industry. Whether you buy free range, organic, enriched, caged, you're supporting the maceration of male chicks, okay? And this horror story, or in a free range facility, they still get gas chambered at 18 months old, and they're still, at times, just as bad as this. So, the answer is to stop looking at eggs as a product, as a resource, even backyard eggs, okay? The reason that these massive industrial facilities exist is because once upon a time, someone looked at this as a product, and now they have to meet the demand for this product. So please, don't look at eggs as food. Boycott the egg industry. Live vegan, okay? Not for me, but for the animals. If you're opposed to this disgusting suffering, please, live vegan. Okay, so we're near the, at the end of this massive runway here. And the saddest part is, we get to walk out that door into the fresh air and leave. These animals will stay here until they die. Do you know what it's like hearing all their murmurs and their, they're, they're like desperate pleas. They're like begs for mercy. It's like they're, they're begging for help. They're suffering and desperately pleading for help or for some relief, you know? Okay, so we're getting ready to leave here now. I've never been in a place like this. So many emotions going through me. I feel desperately sad for these birds. How many more places are there like this, you know? In the world, I like, think about it. This wasn't too far from suburbia. Smack bang in the middle of England. You know, just so many hidden torture facilities like this. And these birds only know suffering. They only know imprisonment. They will never know freedom. The only freedom they'll get is when they go to the slaughterhouse. It's just a frightening, sad reality. And when I was out the front of these facilities, just looking at how big they were, and it was like something out of a movie. And it's almost like you feel like you're in the twilight zone, like you, that, that this isn't a real reality, like it's some type of bad dream. Why is this happening? You know, why are we doing this to them? And on the scale that it's happening as well. It's so terrible. And please be discerning about the propaganda that you hear about eggs and about animal products. They're trying to sell you something. They're marketing these foods to you. They won't show you what we show you, will they? They won't walk you through places like this. They hide places like this. You might see some magical fairy tale green grass, free range farm that does not really exist generally, um, but they won't show you this. I mean, look, I'm a real person. I'm really in this place. I'm really in England. You know, the land of high welfare, animal products, which is just nonsense. Listen to me when I tell you that they're lying to you. They're lying to you. They're just trying to market to you. They are tricking the consumer into doing something to supporting something that they're morally against. I could almost guarantee you that if I walk 99% of the people watching this through here, if you're not vegan especially, 
you would be sickened. You would be sickened because a lot of people, they've got a heart. They don't want to see this happen to animals, which is why people thought, oh, you know, enriched cages, maybe that's going to be better. Free range, maybe that's going to be better. But for the animals, the only thing that will liberate them is a, in a completely vegan world. So veganism and nothing less. I mean, I don't know how many more times I can ask people just to look inside their hearts, use logic, reason, compassion. It's really not a hard switch. If you wanna go down below into the description, you can find a vegan challenge and they'll help you every step of the way. They'll guide you. They'll show you all the different foods you can eat instead of eggs, instead of the flesh of these animals, instead of the milk stolen from morning dairy mothers. This is a reality and we're showing you the reality. We're uncovering UK farms and uh, this is the truth. We're not gonna lie to you. See, see, look, 